Today's hearing marks the public kickoff phase of the House of Representatives drafting of a Water Resources Development Act for 2022. This is one of the most important uh, pieces of legislation, I think we can all agree, uh, that we do here on the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee. Every day, people across our country read stories and hear news reports about how Washington is broken. However, the water process is something that works and one of the reasons why I look forward uh, to this new year. These have not only been consistent, but also bipartisan. Uh, in fact, uh, since 2014, Congress, as the chairman uh, said, has passed a WARDA bill every two years. Uh, the WARDA 2020 passed the House by voice vote. And one thing we hear frequently from those who depend on these bills is how thankful it they are that we work together in a bipartisan manner and do so through regular order. I look forward to working with my colleagues on both sides of the aisle here on this committee, subcommittee, and the full house to keep this institutional tradition intact. Throughout this process, we will hear from folks all around the country representing a wide variety of interest. However, it makes sense to hear first from those who actually direct and do the work, the United States Army Corps of Engineers and the Office of the Assistant Secretary of the Army for Civil Works. There are several ways that the Corps and the Assistant Secretary helped Congress develop a water resources bill. Perhaps most notable among them are the individual chiefs reports for projects in the annual 7001 report named after the section of WARDA 2014 that requires an annual project list to be provided to Congress that represents non-federal entity input into the core process. Look forward to hearing from the Assistant Secretary and the Chief of Engineers on these reports and, and I also look forward to discussing best moves forward with the 2022 WARDA. Again, thank you to our witnesses and I yield back.